Hello, just a good Eurobricks back for another review, and this isn't really a review, I don't know why I said this, but this is my thoughts on all the recent 2013 LEGO sets that have been revealed in the past week. So we got some more superheroes, um, the Star Wars, the Chi- well, not, I'm not looking at the Chima, some of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other stuff. So let's take a look at them, and I'm sorry that this is recorded on my iPhone. Still haven't got the camera battery yet, which I'll probably be getting it tomorrow because I actually have a review planned. So here's the first set, and it is one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. And I'm guessing it's going to be a small set. It does look a little bit big for a $10 set, but LEGO is supposedly putting a lot more pieces and making licensed sets $10 again. So they're putting more bang for your buck, which is awesome. And so I like the figure in this one, and it does come with one of the turtles. I don't know which one. And a foot soldier, which they do have a lot of foot soldiers. This is the other TMNT set, another one. And this is the turtle lair attack, and it's actually a pretty cool set. I love this little half pipe part right here. And this little shrine is so cool too. And I'll definitely be picking this up for if it's like $50 or under. Okay, next up is the Mr. Freeze Arctic Batman set. And this is a small picture of it, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can zoom in, but, uh, let me see. Basically, what I think about the set is that it is very cute, I guess you could say. And if it's $20, which it most likely is, even though it looks a little bit like a $30 set, but like I said, LEGO's probably adding more pieces to it for $30. Um, I think it's an awesome set, and I do like the figures in it, like Mr. Freeze. And then the next set is the Spider-Man flying car chase, as I call it, even though it's not called that. And I love Nick Fury as a figure, and Venom's pretty cool too, but I'll just be picking this up for Nick Fury and to complete the Marvel Superheroes collection. So the flying car also looks cool, so I'll definitely be picking that up, no matter what. Uh, I'm not looking at Chima today, because I'm going to have a whole analytical video up after this. So, uh, the next set is this droid set, George Cuz, Star Wars, Clone Troopers, whatever, it, it's supposedly $10, which is good, and, yeah, since they're putting more bang for the buck, like I said, and it has 124 pieces, so it's nice to see LEGO doing more pieces for cheaper sets, and I'm not going to be picking this up, because I'm not really a Star Wars fan, and this is the Old Republic Battle Pack, and it's pretty cool, I don't, I'm not going to be picking that up, not going to be picking that set up, the ATRT. This is probably like thirty to forty dollars, or even fifty. This set looks bad. I'm sorry. This set looks bad. This set looks bad. This set looks bad. Okay, so all the Star Wars sets I don't really care for this time, except the Ranker Pit because I like the Ranker Pit and the Battle Packs. Those are cool. So I'm probably not going to be picking up any Star Wars sets as. This I am going to be picking up some Summer 2012 sets because I still need to finish those up. And those are going to be the first time I'm buying Star Wars sets in like at least around seven years. Yeah, kind of. Since 2005, so yeah, seven years. So this set is a city set and it's a tow truck and I really like it because of this female figure and her car. And the car is just phenomenal and the female figure is pretty cool and I think that's uh, Black Widow's hair, so... I'll probably be picking that up for $20. This is a cement truck set, and this is pretty cool. I might be picking this up for $20. Then Technic, which I'm not even going to take a look at, because that's just going to be a waste of time. Even though this, I think it's this one. This set is the most weirdest set, this hovercraft set, but I digress. Then the last set we're going to be taking a look at is the tank truck, and I think this set is okay. I mean, it's just one ununique figure, which I don't really like. And uh, I forgot about these two figures, I mean these two sets, and this is the Four Young Builders, which I didn't make a video on, I apologize for that, but I think it's a pretty cool, f like, um, set. So, I might be picking this up just for the suitcase and probably that little corner. It's like a, it's a two-by-one, uh, trash can, which would just be awesome, so I'm probably going to be picking this up. And this is the girls set, and I don't really care for it. I mean, I do like this little, uh... Um, umbrella part and suitcase is pretty cool. So that's my thoughts on all of those sets. I'll be taking a, little, a deeper look into Chima later today. You guys will see that up soon. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.